Honor me as the queen. I was always the queen. I was always the queen bee, do you understand? I was a little bit hurt and taken back. So I thought, honey, you can't make me a queen. I've been one all my life. I'll make myself an empress. Very few people get to meet their heroes and even fewer get to become best friends with them. And Jose was both to me. The next time any of us lands a new job at some LGBT supportive Fortune 500 corporation, say a little thank you to Jose Sario. Got up on the tables and I told them that they were wrong. I told them when they looked in the mirror they should be honest. You look in the mirror, you know what you see. And if you should be so lucky as to go to City Hall and register to marry, great love of your life, say a little thank you to Jose Saria. He accepted himself in spite of everything, all the challenges that he was facing. So I equate a lot of his struggles back in the 60s with the struggles of the trans community now. I also feel it's really relevant and, and, and behooves us as artists and storytellers that we do preserve our history and we tell our history our own. This footage I haven't seen maybe in 20 years, I was able to see again of Jose at the cemetery, cabaret performances. No other bar in the state of California had the balls to fight the state. I was just so inspired by someone who would get up on tabletops during that time period and scream things like, gay is good. The only way that you can change the laws is to vote. I'm not a second class citizen, this never happened. And they said, you can't run for office, you're gay. I said, there's 10,000 vote, 10, voting queens in the city of San Francisco, and I'll prove it. People either forgot about him or thought that he was already dead, and his accomplishments that were numerous have long been forgotten. If you think this has merit, and Jose deserves a place in history, please give whatever you can to help us finish it. No amount is too small.